Hey, little buddy. Are you enjoying our special hiking trip together? Yes, I am, Mr. Scoutmaster, sir. Yeah? Well, now that I got you out here all alone, where no one can find us, I'm going to do something with you that I've been thinking about for a long time. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you mean exactly? I'm going to feed you this peanut butter sandwich. I don't feel very comfortable with this. Aw, oh, come on. It'll help you grow up big and strong like me. But my mommy says I shouldn't do things like that because they're wrong and it's peer pressure and I could get hurt and then if Shut I... Shut up and eat it! Mm -hmm. Toxic masculinity! <laughs> Preview. I'm going to show you how to get multiple doses out of a single epinephrine auto-injector. If you want to skip ahead to the procedure, it begins at the 2 minute, 5 second mark. Background. A significant minority of patients with true anaphylaxis need more than one dose of epinephrine. I want to live! Ah! <laughs> The problem is that epinephrine auto-injectors only deliver one dose. This is fine if you just need to buy 20 minutes for the ambulance to get there and give you a second or maybe even a third dose. But what do you do if you're in the woods and you're hours away from help? There is a way to get extra epinephrine out of an auto-injector with minimal supplies. Procedure. Give your patient shot number one with the auto-injector. While that starts working, just whittle off the label outside the auto-injector so you can see the inner mechanism a little bit better. You're going to be focusing away from the needle end. That's the orange tip on this auto-injector. The area you're aiming for is right about here where you can see through most of the pen and there's just a little central plastic core there. You don't have to be terribly precise. If you have a heat source such as a cigarette lighter or a camping stove or a candle, Heat up your knife blade in it, because it'll make cutting through the plastic much, much easier. Now you have to cut 360 degrees around the auto-injector in this particular region. It takes a little time, but you should be able to do this in under 5 minutes. Once you've cut all the way through, the back half of the auto-injector will fly off pretty forcefully, so make sure no one's standing right behind it. Now you should see the spring and inside of it the plunger for the epinephrine syringe. Gently remove the spring and take out the syringe. Look at all that extra epinephrine in there just waiting to save lives. There's a little teeny condom on the needle which you can just pull off with your fingers. Now you are ready to go. On the plunger there's a little ridge which keeps it from moving too far into the syringe so an exact dose is given every time. If it's been 5 to 10 minutes and you think the patient is showing no improvement or is actually worse, draw air into the syringe until the black stopper is right at the edge of the vial. Then stick the needle all the way into their lateral thigh and inject. Wait a full 10 seconds and then remove the syringe from the patient. Repeat this every 5 to 20 minutes as needed depending on how the patient looks. I got 4.5 doses out of one auto injector. You should learn how to do this. Watching someone die when the medication that can save them is right in front of you is a bad feeling. I'll haunt you forever!